you broke up but since then no message is coming from your person they are not showing any interest to come forward what's going on if it's, that is something you want to know this reading might be for you but again it is a collective reading take what resonates leave what doesn't if you want to book a paid private reading you can email me at divine mother's guidance at gmail.com all right so let's get started and i have only one account in instagram divine mother's guidance with 3800 plus followers only tiktok account divine mother's guidance with um how much 129k plus followers scammer steal my video and make fake profile everywhere so i will never message you for like you know for a dm reading and stuff like that i only do video call reading saying that let's see what is going on what is your person thinking oh five of wand see this is going on in their mind like a fighting with their own battle so this person is actually mind fucked lot of indecisiveness inner battle going on in this person's life so they don't know what to do right now so this is a card to open up so let us see what else comes up think about them okay magician and six of swords okay temperance i don't know what was that page of shorts and here come the two of wands or oh, sorry two of cups okay what is this shit oh king of cups all right very clear so this person is definitely battling their own battle in their in their heart because why see this one part of them it's like definitely feeling very emotional about you this is the king who is really very emotional they're sitting on their emotion um cups uh, king of cups cups are not are the emotions okay love emotion all those feelings and they are the king of the cup you understand that but the with the problem with the king of cups is very emotional very feminine king they will be sitting there and cry like oh my gosh what a disaster i can't take this anymore but i'm not going to do anything about it that's kind of shit show all right but yes definitely that indicates that this person loves you definitely they do they care for you and they think about you all the time that's for sure and that is where the battle comes from because a part of them definitely wants to communicate with you because you know why i'm saying this because they are manifesting you back in their fucking life why because you are their soulmate now i don't promote this soul soulmate or anything i would say divine counterpart some kind of cosmic connection if you think it is a soulmate it is soulmate if you think it is a twin flame whatever you name it that is your problem not my problem but yes the connection is so magnetic look at this when you meet together the spark the spark happens so you are like come close to each other and it become the way you got connected like you feel like it's nothing going to be anything it's so different than any other connection i ever had in my life okay um you can't get them out of your mind you no matter how much you try you will be always thinking about them it's like a very strong connection and it might be a connection i'm picking up on this like you might have thought that i logically would never fall for this kind of connection or this kind of person or this kind of thing i don't know i cannot control myself it feels like why i'm being pulled towards them when i see them it feels like as if they are a part of me so this is the connection whenever i see this sparks this card always it reminds me that kind of connection so you mate and the connection become irresistible so they also feel the same way and they want to communicate and because they want to they want you back in their life they are manifesting you back in their life also if you have done any kind of ritual or spell work to bring them that magician card also confirms that is working okay um yeah so they definitely want to move forward with you in a better situation but that a part of them is still holding them back and that is why the temperance card is there that balancing this emotion but this card also talks about that healing is going on within see whenever you have some kind of connection like fight in you know that kind of some kind of breakup or so called breakup um initially what happens we only think about the negative things that happen we only process those negative things and the fights all those harsh words oh they said that i'm going to hate them never going to see their face we keep on talking to ourselves oh they said that they could have said differently we process that after some time all this intensities that negative emotions dies down so we feel much more better much more you know okay that's fine probably that's what they are in a bad mood so we start seeing them in a logical explanation because when we start after the breakup it becomes we become totally blind in anger frustration rage after some time those anger those things dies down and we start seeing them as who they are and we start seeing the history of this person and then we come down and we understand okay this is not how the person is 
they are much more lovable and they love me they have they have done this so i probably was overreacting and then we want to get them back but also it during that time a part of our ego tries to pull us back no still you still they say that that you know so i believe this person is going through that kind of phase but you know what the good part is the temperance card also talk about healing that's what i said to you so this is a sign that this person is also healing and they will also take some time and they will come forward meanwhile they are stalking you wherever it is possible so if you have social media they are stalking you there if you have some other friends or family they are trying to get some news about you so this is what uh, that i can pick up so um, this looks overall that is a positive reading this person definitely is not a bad person they feel for you they think about you they love you but again you know i'm not going to tell you that okay that's a great news jump like a monkey and sit down there with a candle wait for them that shit i'm not going to tell you you know they are doing their own healing you need to do your own healing if this is your connection this is a beautiful connection so they were going to come back you know that you know that shit now what are you going to do right now you also process all those emotions that you are going through heal yourself open your heart because if you want them to come back to your life you need to heal yourself and open your heart too if you, if you just hold on to the rage that they come back and one day i will just tell them fuck off you did this that to take the revenge i want to come back them to come back this is not going to happen okay and do not put a spell or something like that with that kind of intention that is very bad so you heal yourself you focus on your life you move on your with your life see when the fight happens in this kind of relationship when the person is not bad um you know we all come in a package of good things and bad things so they also have something good they also have something bad you will not going to get a person who will be completely perfect you are not completely perfect first of all okay remind yourself that thing so we all do have good things and bad things so if you want a person to be in your life you accept the way they are you accept them with their good things and bad things and if you can't do that let them go don't wait for them don't even watch a no contact arrow reading for them okay but yes if you can accept them accept them accept them the way they are they might be doing something that you hate that means there is something within you that they triggering and take this as an opportunity to heal yourself that your inner traumas your inner healing what this person is triggering for example they are not messaging me for 8 hours they are busy but you get pissed off thinking like oh they rejected me they don't think about me no that is not the case it is actually they are not being present is triggering the abandonment issue within you so that comes from your childhood trauma you need to heal that shit so similar way take see all those incident that they do and that triggers you and try to work on your own thought process your own belief system that i am worthy of love they love me and they are already with me so whatever is happening in this 3d i don't mind okay so i will be together but meanwhile i will focus on myself i will love myself i'll be giving the love and validation that i'm seeking from them to myself so that when they come back to me we will be in a much more better position much more secure relationship all right i hope that lecture helps you a little bit if he doesn't who really cares where is that shit gone okay let me pull some initials or letters somewhere or whatever you got the point right so f y a y o x o v e g d n and w can be in your name first name last name their first name last name if that happens that can be resonating but anyway these are not factor if you feel connected to this reading this reading might be for you all right and you take care of yourself love you